Samsung just released the Samsung One UI 8 Beta 6 and I do believe and I really hope that this is gonna be the last step before we get to September. This is the timeline Samsung promised to release the One UI 8 stable for the S25 series. Now, the official beta is ZYHB, but guys, I am running the BYHB. It's an internal build, but I just hope that we have the same things, if not more important things september security patch now also in the official beta and apparently finally some bug fixes that a lot of us wanted so besides the applied september security patch they fix the issue where only icons are displayed on the lock screen when notifications are received and also guys this is something very very important they fix the clock widget time display error now what this refers to is the clock on the lock screen but only when you're using the Lockstar module, which I am, by the way, and I'm just going to demonstrate to you. So a lot of people complain that when they play with a clock and they put it, let's say here, boom, it's going to get aligned to the left. Now, what happens when I try to get the clock like this? Is it gonna stay like this? Yeah, I do believe it does, which means that really Samsung are delivering. So I'm going to just go back on my lock screen and just make this clock centered. And again, this is, by the way, a very beautiful wallpaper. I shared this yesterday. I'm using now AMQBHD Spellers app. I got it from there just for free in case you ask. And I did also put Geekbench to the test on this release. And I do have right now almost 2,800 on a single core score and almost 9,400 on the multi core score. By the way, just for reference, guys, this this was the previous BYH9, which means that I'm, I'm pretty close to it, all right? Yesterday, I did a full tour on the previous build, the BYH9. The most important things about this update, uh, besides, of course, all the bug fixing and everything else, is can you really use your phone for basic things, such as ping? Yeah, this version, the BYHB, apparently emits the basic and the device and also the strong integrity, which means that Google Wallet will work. So if using NFC payments and of course, also if using your clock to initiate Samsung payments or let's say Google payments via your Samsung phone, this thing is gonna work. Now, besides the other bug fixes, guys, because I've been only running almost and mainly on internal builds, I didn't really encounter most of the issues, but I can only tell you that this is, if not better, it's probably the same in terms of smoothness everything now really works quite nice and i'm just going to demonstrate to you in 4k 60 fps now why am i so thrilled guys and i do understand that a lot of people are mm, finding this to be funny but samsung had an issue with the animations and not that the animations were bad somehow but with the consistent performance of the animations and the executions which means that if i do this for let's say five minutes Maybe I'm going to like encounter 10 starters, which is not the case anymore. But I in mind also that I freshly installed my phone yesterday, which means that right now I don't really have a lot of things on my phone. So it's a brand new installation and it really works very, very good. Now, let's just also check some of the widget animations. Very beautifully opening uh, here, the battery widgets. Also, of course, I do have here my Spotify. And if you pay attention, you're going to see that when I open an application, right? I'm gonna get blur on my wallpaper and also on the icons, which is not a standard feature for that. You need to use home up. Home up really is one of the features from Goodlock, one of the modules from Goodlock that is making Samsung phones so much awesome in terms of customization. So you can get only icon blur on only wallpaper blur. Right now, I don't have any blur. Just pay attention to this area here, guys, okay? I'm gonna open this icon, nothing gets blurred. And if I wanna change the setting immediately, what I can do is I can go back to the Goodlock. So opening home up is easier uh, like this. So this is the Good Lock widget on my home screen. I go to gesture settings, I go, to the icon blur and wallpaper blur. And by the way, you can also fine tune the amount of the blur. You know, like if you wanna get it like thin or thick, let's go for thick, by the way, okay? You can see now the moment I open an icon, boom, I'm gonna get this very nice and thick blur. So I'm just thinking guys, yeah, Samsung are finally gearing up for the final One UI 8 release. And yesterday in a blog post, they revealed, and I posted a story that they want to start releasing the stable One Year 8 for the S25 series somewhere in September. And I really hope that Samsung are going to stick to this. Overall, my impression is that One UI is 8 is going to be really a great build. You can see even some things in the past that were not so good now are running quite okay. And I only hope that guys, you running the S23 or S24 or you with A-Series are also gonna get it soon enough. So maybe in October, 
and you have a chance to experience One UI 8. Basically Android uh, 16 on the background. And if I go and show you in security and privacy, guys, we are running right now on the uh, July 1st Google Play System update. Sadly, there are no newer updates to this, but this is also good because we have been stuck on previous versions for so long. And now, okay, security updates. We do have September and Google Play system update we do have from July. But overall, it's very, very stable. I can try to show you on like camera. I'm gonna say hi to the camera here one more time. Just switching from the camera and you know, initiating all the zoom modes, you know, just it's not that bad at all. Okay, it's uh, perhaps not what most of you, you know, would wanna have in a phone like this, but this is the reality. I'm gonna also show you in terms of a video. I'm gonna start from uh the ultra wide and i'm gonna see like in the video mode this is actually quite quicker when you notice right so again it's still not ideal but it's not that bad at all and what really makes me going is really the fact that finally i have a smooth interface i don't have to be concerned with lux and i do believe that one year eight is going to really mark the returning of samsung to the big game to the big game of everybody else that really demands a lot of money for your phone and hopefully give you, you know, a lot of value to it. And a lot of the value really comes from the fact how we use our phones and how good they are in daily things, right? So Samsung phones had this issue with stuttering animation. I don't think that this is gonna be a thing anymore. I really hope that this is gonna be in the past. And you can see, by the way, it is crazy quick. Like some two years ago, this wasn't the case with Samsung phones. And still, you know, they were like charging top dollar. Anyway, guys, also, more and more bug fixing. There's some new features. Uh, I've showed those new features like the talking now brief. There is a lot of AI things inside this phone because I do believe that actually Samsung with Galaxy AI were even quicker than Google and what to say about Apple, right? You all know about Apple intelligence, right? It's, it's very good, but nobody's seen it. <laughs> we have so many new things that Samsung put on the phones like call assist, the writing assist, the interpreter, notices, transcript assist, you know, even like the, the transcription assist, like the voice recorder app is supercharged with AI, which means that when I do a voice recording like this, check out what's new, all right? I can now turn speech to text, I can summarize records, I can directly translate and compare, and I'm gonna show this really works like a charm so right now i will initiate a recording i'm talking one two three stop okay the moment i try to save it i'm going to be able very quickly to get a transcription and then i can do everything i want from this transcription so i'm going to take the transcription i'm going to be able to translate it and this thing really works so cool amongst all the applications, you know, from Samsung, like for example, the notes as well. So you can also try to use notes. Notes will have also the ASAP function. And also, of course, the Samsung internet browser guys with the AI summarization, which I do believe is also quite nice when you open the internet browser, all right? And it's, you, you just go somewhere. So let's just try to go to Apple. All right, let's go. I'm gonna open just randomly Apple. I'm gonna choose the cookies. Now, when you open a web page, uh, yeah, the new Apple event, watch online in a few days. Oh my God, iPhone 17, I guess it's gonna be expensive. Thrill to see what Apple's gonna do with uh, uh, Apple intelligence. <laughs> All right, click here, guys, boom. You can now summarize this, right? And then you can also translate this and you have a lot of these features everywhere. Like you can just go here, like a detailed or standard one. And I do believe that Galaxy AI is really now leading the game. You can hit the translate button. And again, all of these AI things, they're incorporated in almost all the Samsung native apps. Browsing assist, photo assist, drawing assist, audio razor. Remember, this thing premiered on the Pixel, but we have it right now here. Photo ambient wallpaper, the now brief, the health assist. And of course, there is an option for you to process things only on a device. But what makes the change for me really is the smoothness of the interface. And I'm really happy to report that, yeah, this is now no longer different from a Xiaomi 15 Ultra or let's say from an Oppo Find X8 Ultra or from a Vivo X200 Ultra. It's going to be exactly the same in terms of smoothness plus the options that we have from good luck um, in terms of all the modules, all the crazy things. Let me show you guys. You need to see this, all right? If you're new to the channel, let me just try to customize here my clock, all right? So I have some standard things. You can see if I click to the style, I can choose some standard things. But what happens when I click here, guys? I am opening the clock face module from good luck where I have 
tons of options. I mean, we really have tons of options. As you can see, it's almost like unlimited. And then guys, there is also the studio options where you can go download and even create your own. So powerful is One UI. And this is, uh, I guess, one of the many reasons why people and I love it. All right, guys, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. And let's gear up for the final release, the final stable release, hopefully in a couple of weeks from now. VST over and bye.